Welcome to vSphere Upgrade, the inside track. My name is David Stamen, Technical Marketing Architect with VMware. And I'm Kev Johnson, also a Technical Marketing Architect with VMware. So this series will cover the actual upgrade process and some tips and tricks, not only about the process itself, mm -hmm. but talk about some of the pre-upgrade considerations as well as the post-upgrade considerations. And these clips will be fairly short, so you don't have to take a lot of time out of your day to really understand what we're talking about. And so we're going to start off today talking about some of the news for 6.7 and and kind of things that are happening there. Yeah, so one of the first things that you need to be aware of is that vSphere 6.7 was the final release to have vCenter Server available on Windows. If you're still running vCenter Server on Windows, mm -hmm. you need to start planning for a migration to the vCenter Server appliance as soon as possible. Yeah, and that's great. So we've also talked about the deprecation of the external platform services controller. Mm -hmm. And don't worry if you still are running the external platform services controller in your environment. We have this lovely vCenter Server Converge tool that will migrate you from an external PSC deployment to an embedded PSC deployment. And this was um, released in 6.5 Update 2D, as yep. well as 6.7 Update 1. And in 6.7 Update 2, we actually introduced a user interface for this in the vSphere client. So if, if, you're, if, you're a, you know, if you're a clicker rather than a CLI person, then that's going to make things a lot easier for yeah, you. it's quite simple. That's Awesome, thanks David. So also on top of that, uh, we, we now have the fully feature complete HTML5 based vSphere client. Mm -hmm. So you can now manage your entire vSphere environment using this, this HTML5 based That's environment. Great. No no need to worry about having Flash installed on your workstations anymore, which is cool, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not only did we just say it's feature complete for vSphere in 6.7 update 1, but even in future releases, we're still making improvements and adding even more features to the client as well. Awesome. And so it's also important to understand that vSphere 6.0 is going end of general support March 12th of 2020. That's soon. It's very soon. It's pretty soon. <laughs> it's sooner than you think. And so it's important to understand that some hosts can be upgraded from 6.0 to 6.5. But if you have older hardware that may not support 6.5 or even 6.7, you may have to plan for a hardware refresh alongside of that. But it's also important to understand that just because ESXi and vCenter are going end of support, you need to think about all the other products that came out around the same time. So the vRealize operations, yeah. automation, log insight. And so we really have this great lifecycle product matrix, which will kind of tell you the end of technical guidance and the end of support for all of those products. That's, that's awesome. So uh, that's, that's it for this time. So join us next time when we'll be discussing pre-upgrade considerations. And for more information, please visit vSphereCentral.vmware.com.